Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching and not only this video, all the videos on my channel, you have been the most excellent audience and I'm so lucky to have you with me on this journey, thank you. So I'm filming this video on August 2021 and DSM version 7 has just been released just not too long ago, but if you were to buy a Synology device today and throughout 2021, I assume, you will still be getting a device that is actually pre-DSM version 7. It will come with a DSM version 6 bootloader, and this means that it will expect a DSM version 6 PET file during the initial setup wizard. What I am going to try to see if, unlike in the beta stages of DSM version 7, if I can take during the initial setup wizard a DSM version 7 PET file and give the device to install. Now, my goal is to not have to install DSM version 6 and then upgrade to DSM version 7. That's a completely redundant step in my eyes, but I am preparing for the chance that it won't work. In this case, what I will do off camera is install DSM version 6 on the device, upgrade it to DSM version 7, hard reset it or factory reset it and then launch uh, the initial uh, setup wizard on camera once again with a DSM version 7 bootloader. At that point I know that it will work, it will take a DSM version 7 PET file and then we will install the operating system, go through the, uh, to the uh, storage manager which has been greatly improved in DSM version 7, we will create a RAID group and generally see how things are looking in DSM version 7. So enough talking, let's jump right in and start doing stuff. Join me. All right guys, so as you can see, I was able to get my hands on a brand new DS220 Plus. I, it's on loan, I had the pleasure of unboxing it, which is always great fun. And now it's connected to the network, it's powered on, it's ready to rock and roll. And before I get anything started, I already downloaded, and you should as well, uh, the PET files to version 6.2. And for version 7, just go to the download center and uh, uh, fill in your device model. If you, if you want the 6.2, it's right here. If you want the 7 version, it's right here. Just click on download next to the DSM version 7. I have already done it and I'm ready to rock and roll. I already know, I already know the IP address the Synology device got. If you uh, don't have a way uh, of uh, finding out the IP address, you can always use the Synology Assistant or the find.synology.com on your web browser but I already know mine and it's alive already, so it's ready uh, uh, to get started. And let's start this journey by logging into this device web portal. And as you can see, this uh, clearly looks like a, a DSM version six bootloader, but let's, let's try it. Let's click on setup, manual install, and let's this time give it the version, the DSM version seven pet file. And let's click on install now. I understand. Okay, and hopefully once this is done, we will be on the DSM version seven uh, side of things. I will now pause, pause the recording and uh, 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 resume it once this is done, if it works or if it doesn't. All right, guys, so up until this point, everything looks like uh, it's, uh, it's going the right direction. It said that it's uh, completed the, uh, the installation and it's now rebooting. And hopefully once it's rebooted, we will be on DSM version seven, fingers crossed. All right, guys, so this looks like a DSM version six uh, setup wizard, and this means that what probably happened, much like in the beta, beta version, it didn't know how to handle the DSM version 7 PET file and it reverted uh, to install the latest DSM version 6 uh, from, the, uh, uh, from the Synology website. 
This is what I suspect happened. Let's find out. I'm going to skip through everything. I just want to see what version of DSM we have here. And indeed, we are looking at a DSM version 6 desktop. Looks like we still cannot just give it a DSM version 7 pet file and just have it install it. So what I am going, what I am going to have to revert to do is now upgrade to DSM version 7 and then I'm going to factory reset the device. I'm going to do it off camera but the upgrade process is something that I will do still do on camera. I'm going to choose a manual DSM update and now I'm going to choose the DSM version 7 pet file. All right so the rest of this process I will do off camera and I will resume the recording once we are in the DSM version 7 initial device wizard. All right guys so just a quick heads up looks like as expected the upgrade process from DSM version 6 to DSM version is successful and this is what the DSM version 7 bootloader looks like. Again I'm going to give it more time to do its thing and I will see you all on the final DSM version 7 initial setup wizard. All right guys so I did a hard reset on the device, a factory reset and now we have launched the DSM version 7 initial device setup wizard so let's go ahead and start rolling click on start let's give it a device name a password as you can see there is a there is a slight a design change from DSM 6 to DSM 7 DSM 7 looks a bit cleaner let's go ahead and click next I'm going to automatically update it that's fine I'm going to skip on everything for now and here we have the DSM version 7 a desktop and uh, I, due to other uh, projects I'm currently working on, I only had a single device to place in the, uh, a single drive, sorry, to place in the device. So I won't uh, create a RAID group, but regardless, it's the same process. It's just that uh, the options will be a little bit different. And now we are prompted immediately with a storage pool and volume creation wizard. We can't actually do anything without it. So it's, it makes sense that it's the first, thi uh, first thing Synology wants us to do. So we'll click on create now. And this is the new storage manager of DSM version 7. Again, looks a little bit cleaner than DSM version 6. Let's click on start. I'm going to use SHR, what, whatever you, uh, you guys decide that's best for you. Let's click on next. I only have one drive. I'm going to select it. I'm going to continue. It tells me that everything on the device will be wiped. That's great. It's a brand new one. I'm going to skip the drive check. I know it's a brand new one, but in a, in a thumb rule, you should perform a drive check just to be on the safe side. I'm going to click on max to use the max size of the, uh, of the drive to be used on the volume. BTRFS, that's great for me. Apply. Okay. And actually that's it. If you guys were to uh, create a RAID group, it will ask you which sort of RAID. Again, according to the device uh, model, if you have uh, two bays, then the max you can go is RAID 1. Uh, but actually that's it. The device is ready to go. The volume has been created. And from now, from this point in time, you can start actually configuring your device, install applications, tweak settings, and this can go in a, in a thousands of ways. There are thousands of, uh, uh, of settings that you can uh, choose from. At this point, I would highly recommend that you watch uh, uh, a device, uh, a Synology device setup uh, 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 video. I specifically recommend that you go into Wundertech uh, YouTube channel. This is the channel 
every video this guy is doing is absolutely excellent. He explains even the most complex things in a way that everyone can understand. He has just released a new DSM version 7 Synology setup uh, video start to finish. I highly recommend that you do uh, whatever the uh, friend from Woodertech uh, is doing on his videos. Everything he does absolutely gold. And of course, you should also join our Facebook group which has almost 6,000 members that are waiting to answer your questions or maybe they are waiting for you to answer their questions. Join the community, subscribe to Wondertechs and to Tech Me Out's YouTube channels. And this is how you uh, launch the DSM version 7 initial device wizard. I hope this was informative for you guys. Join us all on the next video. Bye bye everyone, take care.